There is a generation that curseth their fathers and doeth not bless their mothers. There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes and yet is not washed from their filthiness. There is a generation, oh, how lofty are their eyes, and their eyelids are lifted up. There is a generation whose teeth are as swords, and their jaws teeth as knives, to devour the poor from off the earth, and the needy from among men. This is describing a demon-possessed society that we're living in. Bam, 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 bam. You're bam, 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 bam. You're not going to be bam, 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 bam. You're not going to be able to catch your breath. You see stuff happening all the time right now where one situation after another, after another, and after another. And, you know, every time a storm, I hear thunder, I pray, Lord, protect my home, protect my family, protect my church family. Keep us all safe during the storms. Chapter 8 has 41 ands in 13 verses. Chapter 9 has 51 ands in 21 verses. We looked at the seals. We looked at the 144,000. And now we're in the middle of the tribulation. And if you figure this thing out, 21 uh, seal or a total of 21 plagues come on this earth. God. All right. Buenos dias, mis amigos. This is unbelievable. Okay. So, first of all, there are not 21 plagues that are coming on the earth. That's just stupid you if you don't have if you don't know this you've got no business preaching the Bible none whatsoever but this is the world that we live in this is common this is commonplace for people that have absolutely no understanding of the Bible they're preaching things that are relative to the Bible with no understanding at all. It's um, it's unbelievable. It really is. It's incredible. So let me show you. He, now, I have to, I have to show you this because I don't want you to lose this fact, this point. Uh, seal or a total of twenty-one plagues come on this earth. That's not true. That's not true at all. What he's talking about is the seven seals, the seven trumpets, and the seven vials. And he says, oh, seven plus seven plus seven is 21. <clears throat> Man, that's, that's just brilliant. Yeah, that's, that's just fantastic that you can count the 21. That's great. But you're a long ways away from having any understanding of the Bible whatsoever all right so let's go um, let me show you first of all here uh, just starting in Revelation 5 we see seven seals now it's not until Revelation 6 that we get into it and then of course uh, Revelation 8 talks about the seven trumpets and then Revelation 15 mentions the seven vials or the seven golden vials and of course we get into that in chapter in uh, Revelation 16. All right, so I want to I just wanted to make this a little bit easier to see, you know, because once you start reading then, you know, you you sometimes you have to put it in the memory bank for me because I'm dumb and so I just thought it would be nice to be able to see all 21 of these things just on a spreadsheet right just to take a ganders at it and this way maybe you can see that there ain't no way in HE double hockey sticks that there's 21 plagues in fact these are not a subsequent uh, what do you call that uh, not subsequent but uh, uh, consequential I, I'm not sure what the word is heck I, 
I don't know English very good but these are not in order <laughs> okay you don't have the seven seals being opened and then after the seven seals then you have the seven trumpets and then after the seven trumpets you have the seven vials you can't have that and that's not what it's saying at all and you know it's as if you've never read the book of Revelation and isn't there a stern warning somewhere in the yeah right there Revelation 22 verse 18 for I testify unto every man that hears the words of the prophecy of this book if any man shall add 21 plagues if any man shall add unto these things God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book maybe he hasn't gotten that far yet he's still counting up to 21 I don't know but let's get into this so you got the seven seals the white horse the red horse black horse pale horse and then the fifth seal is the altar of the souls of them that were slain for the Word of God and for the testimony of the Lord Jesus Christ if we could get there let's see if I can find it uh, oh goodness sakes there it is and the testimony which they held okay <clears throat> all right so that's the fifth seal <laughs> and now the sixth seal is the day of the wrath of God or the day of uh, when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven it's the end of the world and I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal and lo there was a great earthquake and the sun became black as sath cloth of hair and the moon became as blood and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth now this is what really amazes me is that people think Jesus was ignorant and you know and if you think Jesus was ignorant just go ahead and say it. or maybe he was being deceptive trying to be tricky no 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 he wasn't at all he was asked very bluntly very plainly and Jesus speaks very plainly to them what will be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world and he gives us the sign of his coming and the end of the world okay? it's clear as day all right so when Jesus comes and it, it says plainly immediately after the tribulation of those days the sun shall be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken and then shall appear Jesus in the clouds of heaven what do we read here when the sixth seal is open and lo there was a great earthquake and the sun became black as sath cloth of hair and the moon became as blood and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth it's the same thing it's the same moment in time all right so go back here that's the when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven that's the great day of the Lord all right we're lifted up into the air to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord that's when we are changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye the last trump the last trump the last the last of this world the end of the world it's the end of the world It couldn't be more obvious really now of course um, the seventh seal is silence in heaven is when it's finished it's over it's done right it's completed it's fulfilled now begins everlasting life all right a new heaven and a new earth we, we get all that description um, really throughout the Bible but uh, even uh, great specifics in 
Revelation chapter 21. And it's really what we're putting our hope in. Now, this We want delivered out of this world and into a great and a perfect world. Much greater world. A world without sin. A world without death. A world without pain. And a world without suffering. That's what we're putting our hope in. And then once this is that once this world is done away with the wrath of God destroys all evil then there's silence in heaven right and this is really um, symbolic if you will or representative or however you want to look at it of the creation of the world when God created everything in six days and then rested on the seventh day these seals are opened up and the seventh seal there's silence all right it's very fitting seven trumpets now the seven trumpets we see that when this when the first angel sounded there's hail and fire mingle with blood now this is not after I don't know how people are so dumb. I just wonder. I just wonder how nobody calls him out on it. Nobody questions him. Nobody challenges this. Nobody even puts any thought into it. It's like nobody wants to use their brain anymore. Really. Just whatever you say, that's that's it. Well, anyway, seven trumpets hitting the first trumpet, the first angel sounds, and there's hail and fire mingle with blood. The second angel sounds, and there's a great mountain burning with fire. Third angel sounds, there's a great star that falls from heaven. The third, or the fourth angel, third part of the sun, moon, stars, and smitten. Fifth angel, star falls from heaven. Sixth angel is when... He looses the four angels. Let's see. Let's get down here. The sixth. Oops. I think we're going to turn the page, don't we? Let's get down to the sixth angel. The sixth angel right here. And loose the four angels, which are bound in the great river Euphrates. Alright. And. So, um, all right, the seventh trumpet. Let's go. Let's go. Seventh trumpet. Where are we at here? But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of God should be finished. Uh, the mystery of God should be finished. So when he begins to sound, the mystery of God should be finished. When he shall begin to sound, the mystery of God should be finished. There is silence in heaven, and the mystery of God should be finished. So we're seeing a parallel here, aren't we? We're a comp something we can compare to and we can draw a line to we can connect the dots to right so what the seven seals and the seven trumpets are from two different views or two different ways of looking at, at something now it's not you know the first seal is not parallel with the first trumpet but the seventh seal is parallel with the seventh trumpet. So God is showing us exactly what it says in Revelation chapter 1, verse 1, things which must shortly come to pass. All right, And this is all stuff that is leading up to the end of the world. 
all right so it's really just giving us an image of things that must come now I I just you know I don't want to if I get into all this stuff I, I don't I'm gonna lose I don't want to lose sight of the fact that this is leading up to the end of the world leading up to the end of the world and when these things are finished it's the end and so these are not two different things it's just like a different angle a different way of looking at the world that is and is to come if that makes any sense but make no mistake about it this silence in heaven that's not a plague all right this mystery of God should be finished that's not a plague so let's go into the seven vials okay seven vials you know talks about it here in Revelation 15 and then gets into it in starting in uh, Revelation 16 all right Now the first vial, now if, I don't know how to say this, seals are something that is opened up, when the seals are broken they're opened up, alright, so I just want to clarify this here, in Revelation 20 we see that Satan is sealed, alright, let me see. Just to give you an example, and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled. So, also, when the seals here, the seven seals are opened, they're let, they're let out, if you will. Okay. Now, clearly, five seals have been revealed to us. <clears throat> the sixth seal is when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven. Alright. I don't know how people can't figure that out, but nevertheless. Alright. So, the seven trumpets are seven, seven um, almost like warning sounds. Right. You blow the trumpet for war. And so, these are examples one through six are examples of the wrath of God that is to come uh, this has not happened yet okay we go to the seals we have the first five seals have been opened but when we go to the trumpets these have not sounded yet nobody in their right mind can claim that these have happened okay this is stupid to say that these have happened right. <clears throat> the trumpets are the end of the world all right so and we see this all throughout the Bible let's go here first Thessalonians 4 for example <clears throat> for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with the shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God Right, so when these trumpets sound, it's the end of the world. Now the vials is just a different way of looking at things. All right? It's not after the mystery of God is finished. Right, that's stupid. So you got, according to this guy's view, you have the wrath of God comes and then there's silence. And then the wrath of God comes and the mystery of God is finished. And then the wrath of God comes and it's done. <sighs> wow. I mean, it, when, <laughs> absolutely no idea what he's talking about. No idea. And this is the problem with the world that we're in. You got so many people dressed in nice suits making a lot of money taking advantage of people that don't read their Bible exactly what's going on and he don't read it and you don't read it so why should he read it 
right? So the seven vials are the seven vials of wrath of God. And pour out the vials of the wrath of God upon the earth. Right? So none of these have happened. None of these. So the first vial of the wrath of God is a noisome and grievous sore. The second, it, it's poured upon the sea, and it says the blood of a dead man. The third is poured upon the rivers and fountains of waters, and they became as blood. And the fourth is poured upon the sun to scourge men with fire. Now keep in mind, when the vials of wrath are being poured out, we are up in the air with the Lord. Right? So, I think 1 Thessalonians 4 is a great example of this. When Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, with the trump of God. When this happens, what happens to us that are saved? We are lifted up in the air. Right? So when the vials of the wrath of God are poured upon the earth, we're not on the earth. We are up in the air. Huh? Up in the air. We're not on the earth. So when these vials of the wrath of God are being poured upon the earth, we're up in the air. Alright, and then, so we got the vials poured on the sun, on the seed of the beast, and on the great river Euphrates. And these are the results of the, these things. And then the seventh vial is poured out into the air. And when that happens, it is done. The mystery of God is finished. And there's silence in heaven. Right? So, these are not 21 plagues, man. This is not a plague, man. This is not a plague. And this is not a plague. Now we read in Revelation 21, for example, there's a new heaven and a new earth, right? For the first heaven and the first earth, earth is passed away. And that's really what we're putting our hope into. We're putting our hope into a new heaven and a new earth, right? All right, so this guy, he not only says there's 21 plagues, uh, seal or a total of 21 plagues come on. That's not right. He wants to also say this is the tribulation. He calls it the tribulation. The Bible doesn't call it the tribulation at all. And <laughs> just it's like people just say to hell with what the Bible says. I'm making up my own stuff. Really? John chapter 16 verse 33 these things I have spoken unto you that in me you might have peace in the world you shall have tribulation but be of good cheer I have overcome the world in the world you shall have tribulation this is not the tribulation that when the these vials that's not the, that's not tribulation man God's really going to try you well, he's really going to test you. No, 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 and no, 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 no. You're dumb. You're stupid. You got no business, David Valance, teaching the book of Revelation. None whatsoever. Absolutely clueless. What is this written with by from a kindergartner? What's going on here? This is nonsense, man. Absolute nonsense. And this is the problem with the world that we're living in today. It's just unbelievable. Let's go, oops. Yikes. Let's do this. What, what does this talk about here? I'm just curious. Real, 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 real to the for Bishop must not be blameless as a steward of God, not self willed, not soon angry, not given to wine, no striker, not given to filthy lucre. Alright. Uh -oh. For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, 
teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake they're making money these guys are making money taking advantage of people that don't read their Bible and it's incredible because that's exactly what Jesus says would happen and it's happening and I'm able to show it to you that it's happening and it's incredible isn't it I don't know if anybody's seeing this but um, it's every single day preacher after preacher video after video time and time again these guys are lying and deceiving and it's getting worse and worse and worse it's incredible really evil men and seducers waxing worse and worse deceiving and being deceived and it's exactly what we got going on here today anyways that's it if you guys have any questions uh, you know I I, uh, I enjoy talking about this stuff it, it's it's amazing the world that we're living in it's amazing how obvious it is that these guys don't have any idea what they're talking about it's unbelievable they don't believe the Bible that they hold in their hands you know that's what's going on right they don't believe the Bible they hold on their hands so they feel like they can just preach whatever they want because they think you don't believe the Bible you hold in your hands either.